So I always wanted to know how long will one 12 volt battery run an air conditioner? Today we're gonna to be testing that with the Power Urus 12 volt 200 amp hour battery. We're gonna be running a 5,000 BTU air conditioner powered by a simple inverter. Is it gonna be better than buying one of these power stations? We're about to find out. Okay, we're already pulling power. I fully charged this Power Urus 200 amp hour battery before doing this test. When charging this battery, I charged it at 14.6 volts. It can take a charge up to 100 amp current, but we don't recommend it. The discharge current can be up to 200 amps. That's almost what a golf cart would pull. All of this equipment was made in China, so let's see how it all works out. We got this little clock slash temperature gauge. We'll go ahead and set it on top of the battery here and leave it here while we run the test. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get the inverter hooked up. We'll just be using a simple DeWalt 1000 watt inverter. We're going to start the clock right here at 10 to see how long it'll go. Okay, we're already pulling power. All right, the compressor's already kicked in. We're blowing cold air. The inverter shows it's pulling 467 watts. We're currently sitting at 13.2 volts. We're just three minutes in. We're pulling about 505 watts now. We're about eight minutes in. We'll come back and check it a little later and see what the status is. Okay, we're an hour and 20 minutes in, and the good thing about this, if we ever have a power outage, you may be able to have air conditioner off your own home-built solar generator. Our voltage is sitting at 13.0, 12.9. Okay, we'll come back and check it in a little bit. Okay guys, we're right at two hours, so let's go over here and check it out and see how it's doing. All right, 12.01, been two hours. Sitting right at 12.9 volts. All right, this battery is chugging right along. I'm pretty happy with this deal. We'll come back and check it here in a little bit. Okay, we're coming up on three hours and 40 minutes. Everything seems to be doing good. I'm seriously considering building my own backup power bank. Still blowing cold on the front, heat on the back. Voltage on the DeWalt inverter here says 12.9. Go ahead and test it with this voltmeter, 12.79. Maybe put it on a dolly, even hook a charge controller to it where I can plug some solar panels into it. I think this battery is gonna go five or six hours. All right, we'll let it go some more and we'll come back and check it in a little bit. Two hours later. All right, that was pretty amazing. It just shut off at five hours and 17 minutes. Let's go ahead and test the voltage and see where it shut off at. That was pretty weird. Uh, it shut off at six volts. I've unplugged the uh, air conditioner and at this point the inverter won't even come on. Well, five hours and 15 minutes, that's not bad. It pulled a continuous 500 watts that whole time. I'd be interested in testing a refrigerator or even a TV and internet. Okay, we're not getting any volts off this battery now. So when you run one of these lithium batteries down to a certain point, the battery management system shuts the battery completely off. Okay, here's another 12 volt battery. We're basically just gonna run the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. That'll wake the BMS up so that we can get the battery charger back on it. All right, it's reading 11.8 now on the charger. So we're waiting on the charger to kick in. As soon as the smart charger kicks in, I should be able to let the uh, wires off of the battery here. Okay, there it is. It just kicked in. Let's see what we got here. And there it is. The battery charger's charging it now that we gave it a jump start. Um, as you can see, the battery's all the way down to around 25%. So we did run this battery flat dead. This battery is going to cost you $479 on their website. I paid right at $200 for the DeWalt inverter and right around $60 for the Walmart battery charger. I want to do some more testing in the future, do another video. I want to hook this to a refrigerator and a deep freezer, a TV and the internet. I left all the links to the products in this video in the description in case you want to build your own like I did. We're going to put this battery to work in the future and probably build a solar generator out of it. 